Hello all, welcome to Think Automation YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Qtus, Tosca and other Tricentis products, then this is the right YouTube channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button and share this video to your friends across so that the knowledge will reach to more people like you. Right. Today's topic is Vision AI, how you can incorporate Vision AI into your Tricentis Tosca and what are all the significant usage of this Vision AI when you need to actually use this Vision AI, all those topics we'll be able to see today, right? Vision AI, what is mean by Vision AI? Vision AI is nothing but a AI feature that is there in Tricentis Tosca from version 14.0 onwards. Uh, approximately three years three to four years from uh, today it was there right so mm -hmm. when you can use vision AI, you can use the vision AI even when the application is not yet developed only the mock-up screen or mock-up application are developed from that point in time you can use the vision AI. it will increase the shift left approach predominantly and the second use case will be you have an application where the application properties will be changed dynamically. So you do not know uh, when the code move will happen, when the application property will change dynamically. In those situations, you can use the Vision AI. Why you can use this uh, Vision AI for these two uh, predominant use cases, right? Vision AI will not identify any application elements using the default uh, XPath property or a default coding property, mm -hmm. which is nothing but usually our Tosca XCAN will use properties like default name, label, inner HTML, outer HTML, those kind of properties. This will get changed when the code move is happening. For example, if application developer is changing something in the label name then these property will tend to change rather our vision AI engine in recent is tosca is using visual representation using some advanced AI mechanism even if the label name is getting changed these vision AI test steps or test cases will be passed irrespective of the property changes right we'll see all these uh, two scenarios in real time demo we'll start with the installation how you need to install this vision ai vision ai by default it will be included in your standard installation if you're installing tyson this tosca then as part of that itself you will be asked here to um, input some information about vision ai server so based on that it will get installed along with the recent tosca itself there is no other a separate installation is required but again as mentioned in the screen you can see that there is a vision ai server that is there right this needs to be configured uh, before you start using the vision ai this vision ai server ne needs to be signed up uh, with the tricentis so your, your tosca admin or your comp uh, organization while admin will be having these url this is a default url uh, where you can go and sign up but there are some uh, customers will be having customer specific url that will be different from this but most of the customers will be using this url itself so if uh, the, the default url is already mentioned in the tricent issues card during installation you can just click on next and uh, just install the vision ai engine as part of the uh, standard installation itself will uh, you you need to get some credential for the vision ai from your uh, application uh, lead or a tosca lead whoever is handling all those installation who should be having access to vision ai server and they should be able to add you as part of the um, user management then you will be able to scan it uh, scan using vision ai and you will be able to perform all the options now right We'll see in real time demo now. Let's get into a couple of scenario we have demonstrated, right? How you need to automate the mock-up screen, how you need to automate the dynamic property changes, right? Before going to that, you need to activate the Vision AI engine, okay? So I have my Tricentis Tosca commander open here. So as a next step, I'm gonna scan using Vision AI engine. To scan it before to that I need to enable vision AI engine itself how you need to enable 
just in the start menu, just type Vision AI. You will be seeing something called Vision AI agent. So open that. Once you open that, it will get loaded, and in the taskbar, the Vision AI engine will get displayed. So it says that it is getting connecting now, right? It will be asking credentials to enter actually. So these credential, uh, it looks like similar to Tosca server, but there is a different credential you need to enter here. These uh, information like account name, and in the next page, it will be asking email ID and password. All this information will be provided by your uh, administrator, by your organization administrator. You can uh, get that. If you do not know who is your account organizer, account, um, organizer right? So you can just click on find your account name, okay? And uh, in the next screen, you will be asked to enter your email. Once you enter your email, for example, you can enter all this information, whatever the uh, email ID you have, you can just enter it. And there will be email coming to your email box saying that uh, who is your um, administrator who can give you access. And after that, you can contact them and you can get the credential and account name, right? To log into that, to log into your um, application here, you need to give the account name, which is nothing but your organization name. It can be anything, okay? It can be test, it can be tricentis, it can be about or whatever the organization that you are working on. Based on that, the uh, organization name will get changed. After that, you need to click on uh, continue, and in next screen, you will be asked to enter email ID and password that your organizer will give you. Right. right now i have entered my credential and it is getting connected successfully you can right click and you can just open the settings there you can see uh, what is your uh, vision ai server all those details if you want you can change this url but this is the default url most of the companies are using and the authentication method either you can use access token or the user credential itself so once you enter it will memorize and it may be it may not ask frequently Right, and you can change your agent name, whatever the name you can change, all those proxy security, all those information, you'll be able to change. As of now, we'll just keep as it is, the Vision AI engine is up and running. So as a next step, what I'm doing, I'm gonna automate my mock-up application. As in that, the Google page is my um, original application, which is not yet developed fully. So I, I am having some mock-up screen. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take screenshot of this search page entire page i'm just taking screenshots and then i'm just opening a word plain word document so i'm just entering copying pasting this okay right now i'm gonna scan this page assume that you have a mock-up application and you have mock-up screen uh, coming to you uh, application developer or the product manager giving mock-up screen this this is how the application uh, looks like in the future something like that and you have the mock-up screen now you are going to automate in as early as possible with the help of vision AI engine what you can do you can right click on any module and you can scan application this is the regular x scan that you are uh, pulling up right so once you're pulling up it will it will give you the uh, word document now right click on the word document you see that vision ai is by default selected if it is not selected select the vision ai right once you do that just double click that it will start to scan so the regular scan properties and the vision ai properties will be differing uh, just choose it accordingly now the scanning is completed i'm just gonna choose my uh, two fields uh, the text box and the Google search, right? So I'm gonna click on the select on screen. Okay, this is a screenshot inside the Word document, right? The moment I hover this, you see that, right? It is identifying as a text, as a text box. And the next Google search, it is getting identified as a button. So all those element in the Word document in a screenshot is getting identified as a valid business control. When you say valid business control, a text box is getting identified as a valid text box. A button is getting identified as a valid button, right? That's how the Vision AI engine works. It, it visually looks what are all elements there and uh, activate the properties and activate the controls accordingly.
now i am what i'm going to do i'm going to check the properties what are all properties we have if you see that google the text box the text box is having input and it having label as google and google search is a but, uh, button where it says control type text and um, content is uh, equal to google search okay if you want you can change this and i'm going to change this uh, this the module name now google search page right and for the module level you see that the uh, caption is document to word which is nothing but the caption of the word document but in real but in real time um, it will be in in the application it will be like google right so what i'm going to do i'm going to rename this to google how it is going to look like in the browser right now my module uh, for my mockup application is ready i'm going to save this now i am closing this x scan now i have the module ready right now i am going to create a new uh, test case for the vision ai vision ai for mockup application right now what i am going to do i am going to add uh, open url test up here to open the url from the scratch right and then i'm gonna put some value google.com right and as a next step i'm gonna pull up this module here the test step is getting created now now here i'm gonna just in the search bar i'm gonna enter as test one two three and I'm going to click on Google search X. Right, exactly. This is what I want, right? I'm going to close this now. Close the application. I'm going to close the uh, Word document. Right, let me run this test case now. Let's see uh, whether we automated the application using the screenshot in a Word document. Let's see how this Vision AI modules and test up is going to work in a real time. I'm going to execute now this now. The execution Google page is open now. That's the next step. We need to uh, write on search boxes. Test 1, 2, 3. Yeah, it write test 1, 2, 3. And let's wait and see whether it is getting clicked or not. Give it a minute. It is still getting identified. Okay, it clicked actually. So the search page is open. Both the test steps are passed now. Now you see that how we captured a mockup screen and we uh, executed the test case in a real application once the mockup application is getting developed. That's that's how the Vision AI is helpful in terms of uh, shift left approach. Uh, how early you can automate a specific application in those scenarios, right? Now let's take a look at the second scenario where we can handle dynamic property change. Now assume that you you already have some uh, you already have automated the Google search page, right? Now if I go go back to my browser, I'll give it a minute. I'm going back to my browser, right? Now let's see this Google search button ID is getting changed in the back end and so that the label also will be getting changed i'm going to change this property uh, manually now to demonstrate what i'm going to do i'm going to inspect google search and i'm going to change this to search this right now if you see that we have modified the button itself the button previously the button was google search now it changed to search this now let's see how vision AI engine handles this property change automatically and the execution is getting properly executed or not right what i'm going to do i'm going to execute the second step alone where it contains only the previous property only i'm going to execute this once again let's see how the execution is happening let's give it a minute now the execution is getting started 
yeah it identifies the search uh, the text box let's see the search button is also identified now you see that the search button as well is identified successfully and the click operation uh, happened successfully right even though there is a change in property vision AI engine handle this scenario absolutely without any issues right that's all i have for the day uh, today we have learned how you need to uh, install vision AI along with the recent Tosca standard installation and how you need to enable it how you need to sign up how you need to uh, sign into vision AI and how how you need to bring up the vision AI agent before creating scripts and after that how to capture vision AI engine um, uh, screens with the mock-up application itself and to create further test cases with the mock-up screenshot itself and we also seen how to handle uh, dynamic property change as well using the vision AI engine that's all for the day uh, if you want to learn more about Qtus Tosca and other products please hit the subscribe button I have already uploaded video about Tosca server installation, uh, Tosca Dex, how you need to implement Dex in Tosca and other Pythontis Tosca features uh, as well. Please um, share this video across to your friends. Thank you all.